Hello everyone! Now till now, in our ESP related projects, we need to enter the Wi-Fi credentials that is SID name and password inside the code only. And if someday we need to change the Wi-Fi credentials in the board, we need to take out the ESP chip from the project, edit the Wi-Fi credentials in the code and reprogram the ESP chip. A hectic process, right? But now, no need to write the Wi-Fi credentials inside the code. Just use your smartphone to change the Wi-Fi credentials whenever you want without touching the ESP chip at all. So watch this video till the end and I will let you know how to do this. So let's get started. So in this video, I will first let you know the process of doing it and then I will also demonstrate you by making one project using the same concept. So the magic behind this is the ESP8266 smart config code. So this is the code for ESP8266 smart config whose link is in the description of this video. So what happens in this code is that first of all our ESP is switched to station mode. And this function wifi.beginsmartconfig will initiate the listening for incoming packets which includes the SID name and password. As soon as it detects the Wi-Fi credentials, it will print smartconfig done onto the serial monitor and then it will try to connect to that particular Wi-Fi network. And as soon as it gets connected to that network, it will print its local IP address on the serial monitor. That's it. Now we can run any of our internet connected program in the loop. So this is it about the code. Now let's see the Android application required for this. For this, first open your Play Store and search for this app called ESP8266 Smart Config. Install this app and now what you need to do is first connect your phone to the particular Wi-Fi network whose credentials you want to transfer inside the ESP8266. For example, I want my ESP8266 to get connected with the available Wi-Fi network called SMS. So first, I will connect my phone to that same Wi-Fi network called SMS. After connecting up the app, here the SSID name is automatically scanned. Now you just need to enter the password of that Wi-Fi router or hotspot. Okay, so we are done. Now we just need to click this confirm button. But before clicking this confirm button, just upload this ESP266 smart config code onto your ESP board and start the serial monitor. Okay, now we can click that confirm button. So as you can see on our serial monitor, our ESP board successfully got its IP address as soon as it gets connected with the hotspot called SMS. Okay, so our ESP successfully got connected to the Wi-Fi network and also got its local IP address. Isn't that amazingly easy? I know it is. Now let's see one example project through which you will all come to know how to implement this logic inside any of the ESP related projects. Let's make our very own Sonoff and for making Sonoff you'll require these all components. Link for buying all these components which includes this MCT2E IC, 120V AC to 5V DC power supply and all other miscellaneous components. The link of all the components is attached in the description of this video so go ahead and buy it. Now for making this zone off, the connections of all the components is something like this. Now I got my own custom made PCB designed from the one and only glcpcb.com. I just uploaded the Gerber file of this PCB and gave the order to glcpcb. As you can see, I got this amazing PCB with a white color masking at my home at an amazingly low price. From glcpcb, you can order your own PCBs at lower price of $2 for 10 PCBs so try out GLCPCB once to make your project looks neat and more professional. One by one, I shouldered all the components required for making this project on the PCB. And after shouldering all the components, a project looks something like this. Now let's dive inside the code. First of all, the code for Sonoff is already uploaded onto my GitHub account. So I will just open that code. 
You can also download this zone of code from my GitHub account whose link is in the description of this video. Now, as you can see, in the previous project, we need to enter the SID name and password inside the code itself. Now, we'll quickly modify this code. So, we'll first of all copy the setup part of the smart config code and directly paste it inside the setup part of our zone of code. Now, we'll delete some of the lines from this code. And yeah, that's it. We are done. Now, we don't need to change anything inside the loop. Now we need to enter the Adafruit IO credentials like username AIO key from our Adafruit IO account. If you don't know how to create Adafruit IO dashboard, then kindly watch out my full tutorial video on how to make your own Sonov whose link is attached in the description of this video. Okay, so let's just upload this code and see everything in action. Okay, so it got successfully uploaded. Now open up the seed and monitor. Moving on the Android phone, as we are already connected with the required Wi-Fi network, we will quickly open up the app, enter the password and hit the confirm button. Okay, so as you can see, it got successfully connected with the Wi-Fi network and also with our MQTT broker. Now we can easily turn on and off the relay of the board via MQTT app. Now I will show this project in action by attaching this series light as a load for the Sonoff. So let's see how it works. Okay, so this is it about this video. I hope you got the idea of entering the Wi-Fi credentials through our smartphone app without updating the code on our ESP board. If you really love this idea of updating the Wi-Fi credentials through the phone, then do give this video a big, big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends who must be struggling with the same problem of updating code every time we need to change the Wi-Fi credentials. Subscribe my channel to learn more awesome tutorials on IoT, automation and electronics. Now wait for my next project until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS. <laughs>